Sun is coming up, are you ready to go? We can take a ride, we can take it slow Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss Cause I'll go where you go Hey guys, welcome back to The Sims 4 Island Living with the absolute gorgeous Leity Anawahi. He is so gorgeous and that tan just makes him look even better. He has just been hanging out on the beach. Uh, he did help make a sand sculpture of... Oh, that's a gnome and a shark. That's what that looks like. That is a gnome and a shark. Monster stomp sand sculpture. Don't monster stomp the sculpture. Got a sweet tan. And he loved building the sandcastle. You have a good time building the sandcastle. He wants to become flirty. Let's hold on to that for a while. He does have work tomorrow. And we still got to research conservation. But we don't have enough money to actually get a... Uh, we don't actually have any money to... Oh! Oh, she's turned up. It's... Uh, I just made her and put her in the game. Her name is Sapphire Stormborn. And I think you can tell she's a mermaid because the game is slightly bugged and thinks that's her swimming outfit. I'm actually going to try and just fix it quickly. That's a little bit... Yeah, I think something's up with her with her outfit there. We're not going to stick her in her regular gear. That's what she wears normally. Note that she doesn't wear shoes. Note that she doesn't wear shoes. Have you gone to start grilling? You're starting to grill food. That's cool. And then you can go and chat with her. Uh, Sapphire in a second. I made her and put her in. She does look very different from all the other like natives of the island because well for one thing she is as pale as a Scotsman but she's not from the island that's why she is uh she's not like a she's not like a, a native to the island. Is that Makoa? Man is it like a sandcastle building competition or something going on? does seem that way. So he's building. Oh he's helping her build the sand sculpture that's so nice. It's gonna be sharks eating gnomes everywhere. Make a nice friendly introduction to her and just be like, hi, I just saw you building the sand sculpture and just wanted to help out. She's just like, hi there. Oh, she's so cute. Not sure what he's talking about. Uh, she doesn't actually, I didn't give her a job. Brighten up her day because she's, she's very happy. Anyway, I think she'd be nice to get to know them. A bit, and then you probably should go back to the tofu dogs because you've just left them, and they might burn up and catch fire in a bit, and we don't need that to happen, you know, on this nice, lovely island. It would be kind of cool if debate existence of mermaids was an option. That'd be that'd be a pretty fun thing to do. I think she's oh, is she going off? Is she going off? Um, I want to watch where she's going. Oh no, she's going. Oh wow. She straight up like dove in. She straight up dove in. It does kind of weird look like she's just swimming around topless because she's got the scales like on her body there. But I'm not sure. That might have to be like something that the devs fix in a little bit. And hopefully the uh, island, this bit's going to start maybe having a good time soon. He does need to have a cover party. We're going to do that tomorrow night because we've now actually met a whole bunch of things. We've got Sapphire, Leah. Leliana and Makwe. We might have to meet a few more natives and invite them all over for a fun carver party. I love how... Oh, there's that a sandcastle. <gasps> That's so cool. That's like a cool sandcastle. Makwe has just built like this funky little castle. I like that. That's... She is a... I think she's a new one as well. And this guy. Yeah. I think these are like all the like natives are, like popping up. Oh, she's like swimming around. Oh, I do want to grab that seashell. Oh, is that the... You don't own this item. Oh, what? Oh, that's that's a shame. That's a shame. Where did the mermaid go? She's there. She's <laughs> kind of swimming around, so she's not, like, turned into a mermaid yet, but definitely go and maybe actually grab the conch shell and blow it and see what happens. I kind of want to see what's going to happen with that. Oh, I like this beach. It's so cool. I want to do like loads of these kind of little beaches because I think beach is like a whole new like tr like a uh, venue which sounds pretty fun. Hey, it's this guy again. It's uh, Alika. The way he walks, that snooty walk, he is just like, yes, yes, yes. You know my family owned these islands back in Oh, a hundred years ago, we were the we were the chieftain family of these islands, and just you know, we remain the best to this day. 
that's kind of the <laughs> that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this. Oh, I love how beautiful it is. I think that's either the sea algae or all oh, the birds are sitting in the water. That is so. Cute. That's not cute. Look at that derpy bird. That derpy bird. They're just like. Meh. Anything happen with the seashell? Pick up that one as well. Just pick up all the seashells. Hold on. There was like three seashells there. There was like the big conch shell, then this little tulip shell, and then there was just like uh, these small conch shells. It's got three of those now. But now that we're over here, I wonder what we can do. I think we can beach comb for seashells. You never know what we might find. I know there's dolphins and cool little like water like creatures everywhere. I'm not sure what these are. Is that that's someone's house and that looks that's really nice. Look at that. They got like one of these really cool old boats. And is that oh that fish looks absolutely gorgeous and it just shrank and disappeared. But it's actually getting pretty late so Leity should go home soon. I think you should maybe head on home once you've uh, finished, I'd say once you've finished digging for the seashells, but I don't think you found any. Head on home, because your home's actually just over here. Your home's literally just over here, so it's not too far to go. You can go snorkeling here, and I think the sapphire is still hanging around. She's still swimming around. She's still swimming around. She lives in Muapalam. She lives on like a big, like lot out there, uh, by herself, and that's kind of where she's stay at the moment. She doesn't really have like a house. She just has like, she just sort of lives in like this big empty plot with just like a whole bunch of camping gear. But there was some cool little like island stuff in the build and buy so that it gave me an excuse to look for that as well. And then you've got this isn't a place you can go to. That kind of sucks. I kinda wish this was like a little open lot. Like a little cafe. Uh somebody lives here, I think, and then you've got this place, but I think it's closed for the night currently. Good morning world, it's brand new day. And it's absolutely gorgeous. He's seven, he slept all the way till 7am. That's pretty cool. Uh, you don't have a shower. That's a bit... Uh, you don't really need a bathtub. Because baths just kind of take... There's not really much to do with baths more. You need like an actual shower, I'd find. But that... Oh, the really cool shower's not affordable. It's 800. Uh, this one is nice and cheap. And clipping, so we're just gonna use that one for now until we can afford to get the really cool one, and then we'll like redo this whole bathroom. Maybe make it smaller. I think that would be the best thing to do. Clean up that, and clean up the uh, the carver bowl. We've got the carver bowl to keep now, but we just need to empty it because it's a bit gross currently. And he's gonna stay at working from home today. He's got to research conservation and clean up trash at Moorpalam. So an excuse got to Moorpalam. I think we might be able to find... Here's the thing, we need to find a PC, but there's none on the island, and it's 14 smillions an hour, and I don't think he'll be able to get a PC yet. If we could get a tablet, that probably would work as well, but you need to make like a little like cultural research centre on this island, I think that would work pretty well. It's also another conch shell. Play that one as well. And let's pick up these seashells. Just... A nice good excuse. He is looking absolutely... I love that the tan stays. I do wonder how long it takes for the tans to stay and disappear because I think the tans are like a really cool new feature of of this. So he's got like a really nice little room. I do love the... This is actually... This gave me the excuse to actually use this fitness stuff pack mirror which I've never used before. So it was fun use, getting an excuse to use that and then we're gonna go and pick all these up. Might have to grab breakfast uh, maybe later somewhere. He's singing in the shower. He's singing in the shower. He's also very tense because he's indoors. And he needs to be outside because he loves being outside. Which is totally understandable. But first we got to clean up. And then tonight we're going to have a carver party. Come here, carver. Can you not clean that up? Oh, that's... That's going to be annoying. That's going to be annoying. The carver bowl's cleaned up now so we can... Have a nice cover by later. I guess we're gonna have to leave that for now until we can get that cleaned up. My core should not have grabbed those animal crackers from the fridge. Clean up trash, my plum. Was that a coconut tree? 
survey and take a picture of the coconut tree. That'd be kind of fun. And there's just seashells everywhere. There's like moons, moons. That was a conch shell, but I saw the word moon snail, I think. But it's so cool having all these seashells. Oh, he's got like a bunch of food on him anyway. He's got like all those tofu dogs. I hope those aren't spoiled. They are. Oh dear. Let's just get rid of those quickly because nobody wants gross. Nobody wants gross food on them. There we go. And then we're going to go and head out to Mua Palam in a bit. Let's just get rid of that. We'll take a picture. Thing. <gasps> Grab that. That's a ooh, moon snail shell. Two conch shells, an abalone shell, moon sh moon shells. These are so cool. Oh, were there more? <gasps> were there more things? Oh yeah, it's coconuts and pineapples, and then there's the tapa root as well, and something else. So we've got some extra things for the gardening stuff. That's pretty cool. Any new fish? <gasps> Whole new bunch of fish. I like that. I like that a lot. New fish to hang about with. Six out of thirteen seashells. So there's obviously um we got the scallop shell. We just need to get cla I think that's a clam shell. And then you got uh, these ones here. I wonder what that one is. So we got an abalone shell. Shiny shells are sought in surf and sold at shore. Generations of paleontologists have supported themselves by selling these seashells on these seashores. Oh, that's very very funny. All right, let's head out to Muapalam and just get some. And just clean up some of the garbage around there. Maybe we'll see Sapphire hanging about. So here we are. This is where uh, Sapphire lives. So just, hey Sapphire, how you doing? Just talk about how nice how it is. It's really <laughs> nice for 9 a.m. in the morning. She's just like, oh hey there, did see you there. Ephedroy, you are. Ah, who are you? Talk to her, discuss some, maybe some local <laughs> fishing spots <laughs> she might <laughs> maybe know. She's a child of the ocean. <laughs> Ask if mermaid. Don't ask her if she's a mermaid. That seems, that seems to sort of insult people. So now there's a tetra, a new type of fish has been reported in certain fishing spots from Sapphire. Maybe we'll see. Uh, what else she knows? And I think we can spread some conservation awareness. She might appreciate that. Child of the ocean. He's a child of the island. So, Michael might get along with her as well because she's a child of the ocean. As well. Talking about, is he talking about how we got to save the sea turtles? Is that a sea turtle? No. That's a. I don't know what kind of fish that is, but that's an interesting fish. Okay, we're going to go and just start looking for. Uh, see if there's any garbage around to clean up. Oh, oh my god, it's jellyfish! <gasps> that's so cool. I'm actually terrified of jellyfish in real life because I remember. When I lived back home, we went to the beach uh, one time in the summer, and there was like loads of jellyfish. I'd like sort of was sort of drifting along the um, drifting like along and sort of passing into the area, and I just remember standing next to one in the water, and it just freaked me out because I knew those things could sting you, and there's just there's little uh, there's fishing nets everywhere. That's kind of sad kind of sad all these fishing nets. Wild pineapple plants. Lots of wild pineapple plants. Coconut trees. And I think there might be a third piece of garbage around this some uh -huh. Well, who's that? Joining in. That's Fetu. Oh. And Oh, it's Leah. Mm. I didn't realise her. She's a fish poacher. That's cool. That's cool. You get to wear like a little fishing outfit and everything. That's cool. Ah, we've got some uh, broken, uh, I think it's like a fish trap or like a lobster trap. You got those. Inspired. What's the inspired? Oceanic splendor from wading or swimming in oceanic paradise. This place is nice. She's going off swimming. Some more. I like her. She's fun. She's fun. I made Of course I like her. I made her. I made her. I just love this. I think we should definitely check out the volcano. It'd be cool if you could like actually go and like look into the volcano. Even if you could throw people in. <laughs> Imagine that. I'm pretty sure extreme violence will make that get added in. That's something as well. Like you see all this sort of green sort of spilling off into the ocean. I think that's like um, 
it's a bit sulfur from the volcano, I think. But like you can see the sort of like the volcano sort of going into the water and then it's sort of making this lovely green appear. It almost looks like algae. This is probably also like an after effect of the uh, volcano as well. Man, I've never actually seen a volcano up close. I've seen videos and I've heard stories of like really infamous volcanoes. Explore the cave. That should be fun. Clean up the trash. Research conservation. I don't even know where we're going to be able to do that. Uh, it's clearing up the... Yep, got that cleaned up. That's two more cleaned up. And then we're going to be heading over to clean up some... Here, that's some wild grass. That's some wild grass. There's nothing out over here. Although this place is so nice. It's just so beautiful. I'd love to actually go to like an island like this to visit. I think it'd be really nice. Really nice. You can kind of see how like... I think it's like algae or like pollution, but the water's kind of like slightly green, slightly greenish. The uh, corals don't look very well. You can kind of see just the sort of like kind of bland and slightly dull. I'd say that's probably, I think that's bleaching that's called, where they, um, where they sort of, uh, the coral sort of dies and it just sort of turns like really pale and white and loses its nice vibrant colour. There's a... Uh, Oh, what's she called? Nailani. I didn't actually give her an introduction. Did I? Go say hello to her. So we got her. Then we can invite her to the carver party tonight as well. Got 56 from that. So we're slowly making our way there. We still need to research conservation as well. Once we say hello to her, we'll chat to her, get to know her a little bit. And then we can also... Uh, let's see, where's the get to know? Where is <laughs> get, to know? Like get to know her and then we'll go and explore the cave in a little bit. You got this, this is always kind of cool. It's sort of like, it looks like an old pattern that's slowly, slowly coming in. Nalani is also a child of the ocean as well. That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's, it's, uh, you. It's kind of weird how he's got the shirt and then he's just wearing like a pair of speedos. As well, it's a bit of a jarring, like, clash. And it'd be so cool if you could go in here, but this is also, like, kind of rabbit, rabbit holy, like the, um, oh, like the tree and the Oasis Springs secret area. Slightly sicksome until you get there. But it's pretty cool how these things sort of been. Oh, did you hurt yourself? Yeah. Dangerous debris. Oh. So Maybe some glass, or God forbid a needle, that'd be the worst thing. Needles on the beach is really the worst thing to happen. Especially because if you, d you stand on one and then, oh, it's not good. Strange noise. Leoti heard a strange sound echoing in the cave as he explored its depths. Following the reverberations, he discovered the mesmerizing sight of rainbow pattern stalactites and reflected stalagmites. Forgetting about his intent for continued exploration, Leoti spent his time marvelling at the wonder in front of him before deciding to head back to the surface. That's cool. Rainbow stalactites and stalagmites. Uh. That's cool. He is... Oh, he's sparkling. Why are you sparkling? Oh, he's focused. Splendor from exploring the beach cave. Alright, okay. Yeah, you look pretty hungry. Yeah, maybe we'll go and try and find somewhere for you. Maybe head you. Head back up. Actually, you've got a coconut on you, don't you? Eat the coconut. Eat the coconut and the pineapple and see how they taste and then we'll head on out spreading awareness from the conservation career. Harvest balls are, eh, they're just okay. They're not that great, but, you know, they're better than most things. And let's see if we can't find a PC. Do you know what? I bet those rich people who uh, live near... I bet those rich people who sort of live in one of the fancier houses, because we have to meet them as well. Bet they've got a computer we could maybe uh, mooch off. Where do these guys live? They live. Oh, that's these guys. Ah, oh, there they are. Yeah, the Sulani ambassadors, an enterprising couple. Maybe they've got a computer we can mooch off of. We gotta find a computer to mooch off can't get a promotion. 
else. And it's kind of annoying that it does seem like you know, you've got to research on a PC, but you can't afford a PC unless you like delete a whole bunch of stuff. And the more stuff like we get over time, then we can sort of build up the house a bit. But also, this is a snazzy modern place. Knock on the door and just be like, hi, I'm new to the area and I hear you guys are sort of like, you know, sort of like the head honchos around here that a lot of people go and talk to. Come on in. So say hello to Alec. He does look, oh, he's an adult. Yeah, he's just like, hi there. Just I'm new. I'm new to the hey. island. He's there, just saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. New person moving in. You probably won't last. You're not like most of us folks who just live on this island. They've also got a pool. I am not spying a computer though. I think this was a bit of a wasted trip. Yeah, it's a bit of a wasted trip. You would think they would have a computer. People like these guys. He's a snob. Oh well then that settles it. Although let's go. This place is nice. Can you walk along here? You can. Oh. Do you know what? Oh you can paint from this? That's so cool. Mathematical diagram. Oh that's like this is so beautiful. Fish with bait. Set the traps. You can do all that. There's a aquazip. There's another house here. There's a whole bunch of fish, and you can go fishing here. And there's a these beautiful. I love like, I love these kind of bridges. I think they're so nice. Like any just bridges with lights on are super cool. I think that's pretty cool. Don't go over that way. That way is not as interesting. Oh, is this food? Food vendor. It is a food vendor. That's what's your name? Kalami. Kalamainu. I think is how you say it. A lot of these names have apostrophes in, which is interesting. Observation. Who's that? That's uh. That's an, oh, it's uh. It's Nalani. She works here. This vendor. What food do they have at these? Tropical vegetable pa plates, grilled fruit, pork adobo, roasted fish, barbecue salmon, shish kebab, and the Kalua pork plate. Those sound actually really tasty. The pork plate especially. I do love pork. Pork's great. This place is good. Oh, is he playing? Yeah, he's playing on his phone. Uh, even in a beautiful place like this, can't, can't escape the... Uh, oh, it's another beach over here. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, this is a bit more of a fancy. This is a bit more of a fancy one. Let's go and... Let's just go to a library in another world for now. I had to slightly break the immersion and send him to the Windenburg Library in order to actually get some uh, research conservation done, but we're we're going to pretend that that didn't happen. Because, you know, I don't want to break the immersion and go to other worlds whilst going in, while still like, sort of being in this world, because it's just, it's just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. I don't want to ruin the immersion. There's seashells everywhere. Seashells everywhere. And I think... Oh, is there, oh, I think everyone's going over here for a party. So try and clean up that and then head over here. And then we could totally hang out with every... Everyone. This looks cool. And are these like... I think these are chickens. They're sort of like weird tropical chickens. Farming pack confirmed. You know, hashtag... Hashtag farming confirmed in the future. But this is pretty pretty cool, so yeah, clean that up and chat with chat with your bro. Chat with your bro Makua. They are total bros. They're total bros now and then definitely hang out around around here and then we can all enjoy a nice fish dinner. See this is the kind of thing that I like, these sort of big community sort of ideas. There's also more uh carver carver drinks around and we still need to earn gold on a carver party maybe tomorrow uh, in the next video maybe the next day or the next video we definitely hold a carver party that would be pretty pretty awesome people just like building sandcastles everywhere I really love all the 
all the sandcastles are still around here. You can oh, you can restore them if they start breaking down. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool because they start losing their texture after a while. So it's kind of like oh, they're all just sort of depleting. That's kind of sad. So just hang on, just feel like what's up, bro? What's up, cousin? And then just mention. Bring out work, bring out how cool it was. And also mention, you know, uh, oh yeah, I met this uh, girl out in Moor Palam. She lives out there in like a tent. Because she doesn't live in like any of the houses that, been, that are available, which is a bit kind of weird. She's just got this big old empty plot like to herself. Just chatting. There's Layla and you, I think, yeah, you're a. Uh, these guys are like. Oh, it's, uh, oh, it's Melee. Oh, that's his wife. That's cool. And she's there just like, oh, humans. Interesting. Because we all know that she's a mermaid. Child of the I li Islands lesson. Leity is a child of the islands. He experiences a deep spiritual connection to Solani itself. This grants him the ability to summon powerful island elementals while partaking in Solani culture. Will garner their blessings, ignoring the island will earn their disfavor. Oh. Yes. <laughs> they can make a toast. <laughs> and I was wondering if you if you could make a toast, but you might need to just do that on a on an actual event. Actually, call up Sapphire and then say, "Hey, just give her a text and just be like, hey, how you doing? Just hey, how you doing? And hopefully when." This is oh definitely grab milk because you are quite hungry as well, so don't want you to starve to death. Out here, what's that? Is that driftwood? Carver root. Oh that's how you make carver, you yeah, get carver roots. That makes so much sense now. That makes so much sense. Discuss neighborhood changes with Makoa. And it's this guy again. Have I seen you before? I think I have. Yeah, it's Oh yeah, you're Uku, as I named you, because your name is actually very hard to say. Uku Panipo. Yeah. Actually not that hard to say. Let's call him Uku for short. Ah, oh, was there no food now? Oh. Grand Pit Barbecue Feast. Kalua Pork. Oh, I have a pineapple that could totally bring down that. That sounds like fun. Do that. Do that, or grab a serving of fish dinner. Actually, grab a serving of the fish dinner. That might be a bit better. I do love how like everyone's sort of hanging out. No one's like sitting on a PC, like you know, hogging that all the time. It's actually really nice. This is super cool. I like that. I like that. He's getting on like insanely well with Makua, they're becoming like super good friends. Someone making, someone's making a tofurkey dinner. Oh, Melis. She, I think because she's, she's obviously a chef, so she is just basically just like, I'm just gonna make every meal out there. Uh, part of the community, but from participating in island events, it's a great feeling. Old island recipe: these ingredients were a gift of sustenance from the islands themselves. The recipe passed down through generations. Definitely, a then attempt to summon an elemental and see if you can garner some, maybe some favors. Incredible text. It was just like, yeah, she's gonna want to hang out with me now after that amazing text I sent her communing with Sulani elementals. Elementals have been called f from the island. Prepare for their blessings or judgment. That is going to be interesting. That'd be really interesting. It's pretty cool. So when did the spirits get here? That's what I want to know. That might be interesting because they might look unfavorably upon Leoti, but they might be like, you know what, you're actually doing really well. Nalani is vendor at Hogan's Grub Stores, and this Hogan guy just like owns stalls everywhere. Has identified the perch, new type of fish reported in fishing spots. That's pretty interesting. You got um, yeah, that's interesting. There's no like um, other. Oh, the, they moved the note. They've moved the notebook. 
Oh, they've moved the notebook, that's why. So you've got the koi can be caught without bait, the tetra and the perch. That's really cool. That's really cool that they've made the notebook like a whole thing without having to click a little thing. So gardening, fishing and a bit science and other things. It's probably easier to categorize everything now because then you just have to scroll through everything. That's pretty cool. Oh, I like this. I like this. It's a shame this is not being utilized a lot more. I kind of wish it would be. Maybe there'll be like a huge festival or something. That'd be kind of cool. Now everyone's... Is everyone heading home now? It, yeah, it is like... Oh, it's midnight. It's like midnight and everyone's like, yeah, we're going to all head off home now. And he still has like three hours to commune with the spirits. But he is actually getting pretty tired. Maybe you should head on home. Finish finish up eating and then maybe head on home. Oh, all this... Oh my god, all the spirits have been over here this whole time just waiting. Oh, that is so... Just say hi to all of them. Just be like, hi, I'm sorry. I didn't even realize you all turned up at my house. Turned up at my house. I had no idea they were actually going to turn up at the house. What's that? Fresh catch from eating a meal made with a fresh fish. Ooh, that's cool. It's cool. Pretty tasty. Very tired and feeling flirty. That's a shame there's not anyone, anyone around to get flirty with. Oh, that's cool like this road and the road's kind of like crumbled away a bit from like erosion and also maybe not being oh my god that's where all the mailbox are that's amazing that's actually really cool because it looks like you know you just have like basically a bunch of mailboxes and then everyone just sort of lives scattered around and then like the m the mail people will just come and just like pop all the mail in like these boxes and then just like every so often people just be like turning up to pick up the mail. Apparently the, the neighborhood community thing here is like super nice because apparently even if you get caught on fire in your own house they will turn up and be super cool and help you put it out so you don't have to worry about dying in your house alone. Oh no. No Vladdy you're not flying all the way out to Solani to annoy me tonight. Not today Satan. Just have a look around. There's lots of of course he's here. Can't escape this guy, can you? He'll even turn up turn up in the other he just appeared over here as well. In this little area, so that's slightly concerning. But for now we're just gonna ah. chat with the island the elementals. Uh, they're all kind of interesting. Maybe ask for judgment and we'll see just how badly this goes. And then we'll probably end this video here. Was that a good thing? I'm not too sure. Well, it's kind of cool that they've turned the ghosts into like elementals. He is in a super floating mood now. Is he off to bed? Yeah, he's going off to bed now. So he's actually just actually spoken with the elementals. Actually, because I was like, wait, where are the elementals? And it turned out they were just sitting in front of his house the whole time. It was slightly concerning. But now he's off to sleep. So I'm going to end this video here while he's sleeping. So thank you guys so much for watching me play Sims 4 Island Living with Leah T and Oahi, my star. This is amazing. And we've already met my mermaid, but we haven't figured out she's a mermaid yet. Though you can kind of tell she is because her outfit's slightly bugged. So hopefully... um. We'll be able to actually see her in mermaid form. And then maybe, maybe we can make... Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. I'm going to pause now because I'm a bit worried he's going to ruin everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. And in the next episode, we're going to be hosting a carver party. And that should be so much fun. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye now.